It was a show of force by Angola's ruling party. President João Lourenço did not hold back from spending big money for the final rally of his campaign. This mandate was also a mandate in which we broke with some tabus. Começando pelo tabu da luta contra a corrupção. For MPLA supporters, João Lourenço's re-election is a foregone conclusion. Promete e faz. Nós não temos dúvida de que ele é melhor dos presidentes que estão a concorrer, porque ele mostrou que ele é capaz de mudar essa Angola. The MPLA has been in power for 47 years and controls most of the country's resources and state media. UNITA, the historic opposition party, meanwhile, has run a more low-key campaign, reaching out to voters in deprived areas hardest hit by the economic crisis. UNITA believes it has its best chance of victory in decades. A aceitação que a UNITA tem esse ano é extraordinária. Em todos os anos não teve, mas desse ano é extraordinário, muito diferente. Temos assistido, o caro jornalista assistiu, uma pequena marcha, qual a aceitação que nós temos. UNITA owes much of its success to the charisma of its new leader, Adalberto Costa Jr. At 60, he's rallied several opposition parties behind him. For this political scientist, Wednesday's vote could be the tightest since the country's first multi-party elections in 1992. Para o partido. 14 million people are expected to cast their votes on Wednesday to elect 220 MPs and a new president. Former 